All right, what's up, y'all? It's 202 Wink, your favorite fly help desk tech. Let's get into it because I bring this up a lot. This is why you can't find a job in IT and you might have just graduated. You might even got your cert and you still can't find a job. You put in an application. Here I go sounding like the uh, the dude telling people to go to school with the hat. But you put in applications. No one's calling you back. No one's emailing you back. The people that's emailing you back seem a little, mm, yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like they're just going to waste your time or it's not really worth it. Let me tell you, okay? Because I almost, I ain't almost taken, but I was offered a job that was only making like 13 or 14. I'm like, what? That was out Virginia, though. That's not the point. This is why you can't find it, though. Because your resume is trash and you don't have the experience you need. Sad to say. All right, that sounds messed up. Let me not say your resume is trash. But your resume isn't in the form that it should be glorifying your uh skills. And you don't have the experience because... All you did was go get a cert. You know what I'm saying? Or all you did was go to school with no cert. And then you didn't go get a cert. You see what I'm saying? You got you got to have one almost or the other. If you miss him, I mean, hold up. I ain't trying to get y'all wrong. You, either, you need one or the other for real, for real. If you don't have a cert, you need experience. If you don't have experience, you need a cert, schooling, and, and still experience. That's the whole kill. You need experience, y'all. For real, I'm telling you. When I graduated from tech school, it took me two years to find a job. Two years. Yeah. Because I was like 20. Yeah, so I was like, yeah. What was I 21? I was like 20. Yeah, I was still 20. So, yeah. And by the time I found a job, I was 22. Yes. And I was doing my internship right before I found the job. So, let me put it to you like this. You're not finding, you're not getting offered or you don't, my bad y'all. Cause I'm not going to cut this. We only two, uh, we only two minutes in. So yeah. So that's why you can't find a job in tech y'all. I'll tell you my story and I'll tell you what to do. So went to tech school, graduated, was trying to get an internship or a summer job that didn't work out too good for me. So my school was actually supposed to help me. They wasn't doing what they were supposed to did either, for real, for real. I mean, they tried like one time and that was it. Or maybe twice, that was it. So either way, went to school, graduated, started looking for internships, internships. All of them wanted you to have like, like, if this is an internship, why do you want me to have college, you know what I'm saying, super college experience? Four years of college, three years of college, BS. Either way, found me a computer, uh computer repair shop in Fort Washington. Shout out to the gadget guys. That's where I did my internship at. Did my internship. I'm sorry, I keep getting distracted. Y'all keep finding like little stuff on my shoes. Now they made like that. All right. Yeah, so did my little internship. Right after I did my internship, I was already like, y'all like putting out applications or whatever, but I wanted to like get at least like, uh, how long was I there? I think I was there for at least like uh, four months or something like that four to six months it was really like four but um did that was looking for jobs looking for jobs and then i thought put on my resume that i had an internship at a computer repair shop which included uh having customer service skills uh and the regular computer skills you know cleaning soft uh, cleaning the pc software virus all that crap so once i uh put all that on my resume or whatever Next thing you know, I was getting uh calls back and all that and emails back. Even though I was already getting that without the experience, but I told you they was BS, especially out Virginia. So uh I went in I went to go do a test to be a uh, what you call them things. My bad, y'all. I know I always do this, but I'm hungry so I can't think right. To be a, dis a police dispatcher person or whatever. That was y'all like technical. I passed everything except the typing part by two points, young. So then I was like, yeah, just come back, uh, just come back or whatever, and, and you can redo it. I'm like, man, I ain't about to come back and redo all this crap. It was like four different four different parts, you know what I'm saying? So uh, that didn't work out, and I was blown. But right after that, like, it seemed like a week later, because I had already put in an a application for my current job. Like a week later, they called me and was like, yeah, Amber, I was about to say my whole name. <laughs> yeah, uh, Amber, whatever, whatever. Uh, you put in an application 
uh, yeah, 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 are you able to come in for an interview? I was like, yeah, I come in for an interview. I think they told me either Thursday, Wednesday or Thursday or whatever day. I was like, I'd be there bright and early. Found the joint. Uh, found the joint, came in, did my uh interview. It was a panel interview. It was my first time ever having a panel interview, and it scared the crap out of me because I walked into a room and saw three different people at one time. And uh, a lot of people say uh they don't know about they don't know about that, and they need to warn people because it will like you going and thinking you already you already talked yourself up thinking yeah, I'm about to knock this interview out. They gonna know me. Then you walk in there's three people and you like ugh, dag. So. Yeah, walked in, did my little interview, three person, uh, three panel interview. I was either number ninety five or ninety eight. I forgot which one she said, but I was in the late nineties. I was so ninety people went before me before I got chose. So yeah, so I went in there, uh, did my uh thing, answered the questions. They had scenario questions, knowledge based questions, and then um, of course asking you about yourself, uh, them type of jumps. And I already had myself down pocket. Matter of fact, when I seen two to two to three people that was in there, I was like, oh, oh yeah. I'm about to be myself. And um, not like I was up there like, yeah, you know what I'm saying, all that. Nah, it was just like, I was letting them know, like, yeah, I know my stuff. This black girl with dreadlocks know her stuff, okay? And that's how you got to do it. So I still remember my outfit. So, yeah, so that's when I got to my current job and I ain't really been looking since because I'm set on where I need to be. I'm just working on my outside stuff with my company and all that. But, um, but yeah, like I say, once I put that experience on my resume... It was a rap from there. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it definitely was a rap. Do I have a clearance or a top secret clearance? No. Uh, I have a homeboy who, uh, can I say that? I, I know somebody that works at the Pentagon as well. He has a clearance though. I think he, he has a clearance for that. Um, just yeah that's my main thing though i hope i ain't confused y'all like veer off too much i like to ride shout out to unique mecca audio i might go in go on a little you know a little different tangent you know what i'm saying so y'all can understand certain things but like i said that's why y'all not getting the help desk jobs or the offers because nine times out of ten your resume ain't looking how it's supposed to and then you don't have the experience and also remember to tweak your resume to have all your technical abilities shown up front okay um what else uh apply 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 also if it says something like in the description of this job like must have uh or for your qualifications and it's saying something like oh must have four years experience in this because i know you entry level if you're entry level and you're like dang how did women already have four years experience three years experience and i'm just starting apply anyway you think you're the only one no just so happened my job uh said high school diploma but they needed help bad so but yeah y'all uh like i said apply don't worry about the description still apply somebody still might take a chance on you um and yeah I, that's that's really it if y'all want to see i'm gonna add the sample resume video in this too i have a video already out with a sample resume for it help desk entry level what i was basically mine i changed a few things so y'all won't you know no worry where i didn't work and crap like that so uh yeah that's out there i'll tag the video in the description so y'all can go to that video and run that joint up make sure y'all like comment subscribe share check out my other videos that's not about tech i'm showing y'all how to get fly for the low designers for the low make more money financial literacy live the life you want to live like comment subscribe share 202 ain't gone